of virtualization. Our topic today is user virtualization. I'm your host, Valerie Longo, I'm marketing coordinator here at Centronet, and I'm here with our presenter, Dan Palmer from AppSense. AppSense is the leading user virtualization technology today. Uh, it was recently named Citrix Ready Solution of the Year, and it is one of my personal favorite vendors to work with here. Um, just a few quick housekeeping notes. We will be answering questions at the end of the session. So if you have any questions during the presentation, please use the question box in your GoToWebinar control panel. Um, we will be recording today's webinar, and it should be available on our website tomorrow morning, along with the recordings from all of the earlier sessions from this series. So if you just want to hear it again or you know someone else who should be listening in on these, please feel free to send them the link. It's on our website at www.centronetcorp.com. Uh, so without further ado, I will hand the presentation over to Dan. Welcome, Dan. Great. Thank you so much, Valerie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, again, my name is Dan Palmer. I'm one of the engineers for AppSense based out of Atlanta, Georgia. And today I'm going to be talking to you basically about user virtualization. Um, what is user virtualization? Well, if we just kind of take a step back and we look at what the industry has uh, done so far, they've been able to virtualize the OS, um, whether it's Citrix, third-party vendors, whatever it is, they're virtualizing the OS within the user's environment. And then uh, a company said, well, what about virtualizing the application? Then they moved forward to virtualizing the application. And we decided to tackle the problem in these environments of dealing with roaming profiles or what we want to basically say is user virtualization is the next step. So we need to go from virtualizing the OS to virtualizing the application, take it one more step further and virtualize that user. So no matter where that user goes, whether they're logged on to their laptop, then they go to their desktop, then they go to a Citrix VDI environment, and launch a published application, we are virtualizing the user settings regardless of where they go. It's basically kind of like taking that roaming profile and virtualizing it and basically you know, uh, uh, making it really small into a tiny little ball and allow it to go over very low bandwidth environments and allow it to be able to manipulate the environment and be able to travel wherever that user goes and however they launch their application to OS. Well, today I'm going to be showing you two main products that AppSense delivers. The first main product is Environment Manager. Today's pretty much going to be an all-live demo, no PowerPoints. I know I hear some cheers in the background. But the first product, Environment Manager, deals with that user's uh, virtualization. We have decided to basically segregate the policy and uh, personalization, that user's profile, into the two parts, like I said, policy and personalization. If we take a step back again, when a user logs on to the environment, let's say Active Directory, they're logging into the Citrix environment or they're logging into their local desktop, a fat client. When they log in, they authenticate to AD, uh, policies and procedures, log on scripts, fat files, a whole bunch of things start coming down to that user's desktop. And then at some point in time, a profile loads, whether it's a local profile, a roaming profile, hybrid, mandatory, some profile does load. And a lot of companies that we talk with, this is sometime anywhere from 45 seconds to a, a couple minutes down the uh, path of when they already entered their username and password where people complain about log on times. Absence has been able to help solve this issue. We have then taken this away from Active Directory. So the user only is, excuse me, the user is only going to authenticate. So the user John Doe authenticates to Active Directory. Can John Doe log on? Yes or no? And then Absence will first handle the policy side, dealing with their map drive. What is the lockdown of that desktop? What are the settings within that actual application, such as what Exchange server is Outlook connecting to? Or what are my ODBC configuration, printer settings, and et cetera? Once the policy stuff is loaded, which is not brought down from the network, it actually is read locally onto that device. So if the user is logging into a desktop, it would read it locally. If they're logging into a Zen app server, they would read it off that Zen app server. If it's logging into a VDI, which is the Zen desktop, it would load off the actual VDI image of the actual Zen desktop. So very fast log on. Well, what about the profile that Microsoft loads? What about that giant roaming profile or the local profile? What we do is we handle it slightly different. We don't load this at the very beginning during a log on time. We actually load it when a user actually clicks on an application. 
So this is what we're going to show you first, and then we're going to get into our other two app, our other application, which is Application Manager. Let's step over here, and I'm going to open up my environment, which is Windows XP uh, environment. Now the user, of course, gets logged in extremely fast, and in this environment, a lot of companies, if they're running Zen Desktop, they decide they're going to have multiple images based on the departments they have within their company, whether it's the business office, the sales department, the marketing, uh, if it's medical, the ER department, if it's manufacturing, the assembly line, whatever it is, they may create a different image for each department based on the applications that they need. What if we could, say, create one image per OS? So now that when the user goes to log on, AppSense will actually deliver exactly what they need to have access to. And in this case, my user that's logged in, her name is Mandy, I've actually locked her down to only have access to certain applications. Yet in this actual OS, I've actually installed several other applications. They're just not available because Mandy is just part of the business office. She's not a part of finance or other marketing departments, things like that. Now, let's look at, you know, we've actually map drives, we've redirected, uh, you know, desktop, we redirected my documents. All that's done with AppSense. What about the actual profile that needs to load? Well, I'm going to go ahead and launch Microsoft Word. When Word launches, we have decided, and Mandy has decided actually, that she wants her, black, her background to be a black in color, and she wants to add some things up here. So as we come up to view, maybe add some uh, grid lines, the ruler, and she's even going to minimize it down to the desktop just slightly and maybe drag it down a little bit. Well, if she likes that look and feel, she's going to close out of that, and if she was working in it all day, in order to save that look and feel in a roaming profile, the user would actually have to physically log off the box to be uploaded to the network. Well, when we're talking about VDI, a lot of companies are looking to go, you know what, we're going to go to VDI and we're going to go ahead and go to Windows 7. Well, if you're running an XP roaming profile, it's not going to work. You're going to have to start from scratch. With AppSense, that's not true. What we then can allow you to do, and again, notice I'm not going to log off this XP environment. I'm going to go from XP to a Windows 7 environment. In the Windows 7 environment, same look and feel, except I decided to give her a couple more applications and have that look and feel of Windows 7. When I go to launch Microsoft Word, and again, Word is actually delivered on this actual uh, OS platform embedded into the actual uh, VDI image. It's the exact same look and feel as it did before. So as fast as I can make changes to this environment, I go from Windows 7, I'm not going to log off, and I'm going to go to Windows XP, and then I'm going to double click Microsoft Word, it opens up in the exact same look and feel of that user's environment. Now, I want to be very clear, in fact, crystal clear, and when I tell people about this, AppSense works in all Windows environments. So as long, if you're running, people ask, Dan, can I run this in my desktop environment? Yes. This is the advantage, and this is the building block of going to VDI. If you're looking in your environment of going, all right, I have fat desktop in my environment. We're thinking about throwing in Citrix Zen Desktop, the VDI space. How do I make their same look and feel on their desktop appear within that Citrix environment, except the Citrix environment is going to be Windows 7? What you do is you throw AppSense on your existing environment, and we would then help you migrate those users' profiles to the Windows 7 environment. And like no other company or no other vendor can do right now, we can allow you to go back and forth as many times as you want. So if the user wants to work part of the day in Windows 7 or every five minutes in Windows 7 and then jump to XP, you can do that. Most companies, even Microsoft, when you do that migration to Windows 7, if you go from XP, you can't go back. We allow you to go back and forth. Now, a lot of companies have problems with roaming profiles. So if you have corruption, and I'm just going to kind of simulate corruption in this Windows XP environment. Typically, a user will close out the application. However the app is delivered, again, we don't care. We click on the app 